If you solder wires onto circuit boards, then this video is definitely for you. There's a technique I've devised in the 1970s to speed up soldering wires onto tag boards. The technique's still good today, although in those years I've never seen anybody else use it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to control the exact amount of solder on the joints. I'll show you how the solder automatically feeds itself at the best speed and fast. How to avoid melting the insulation that touches the solder and do all this without a third hand or any clamps. The normal method of soldering would be to tin the circuit board pad, then heat the pad and the wire together at the same time and lastly apply the solder. My technique is different. Just watch this. Here's the technique again. Heat the pad first and feed the solder onto the pad, not the iron. As soon as the solder melts, remove the iron and keep feeding the solder onto the pad. The solder will quickly solidify and you can simply cut off the excess to the correct length with the iron. Adjusting the length of solder allows you to control with high accuracy the maximum solder on any joint. So here's the slow motion of an iron cutting through the solder. If you want to be more precise with the solder amounts, you can make the solder legs longer and use wire cutters to get the exact length. Now let's take a look at how fast the solder automatically feeds in. And it's quick. And now watch the feed in slow motion as I solder a wire to the pad. You can see how the solder gets sucked into the joint. Now sometimes it's important to have the insulation right up to a soldered joint, so the last tip I have for you is how to avoid melting the plastic in this situation. You strip the insulation back to the correct length, grip the conductor with pliers and then use your nail to pull the insulation further back so it's out of harm's way. After soldering, you can just push it back up to the joint. This method can work even if both ends need the same treatment. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and learnt a few techniques in the process. So let me know in the comments how well this works for you.